So now we're going to get into a little bit of theory on the basic layout and how the different parts function. This is a, a crude block diagram of a pipe organ. Of course you have the blower which makes the air. Pipe organs require air to make the sound. Then you have the regulator which maintains a constant pressure as you um, vary how many different pipes are playing at the same time. Obviously, as you play more pipes, it's going to draw more air. And you want the pressure to stay the same so that you don't notice any changes in volume or the way the pipes speak. The regulator feeds the different wind chests. The wind chests are where the pipes sit. They turn on individual pipes, um, and they are controlled by the manuals at the console, which is where the pipe organ player sits. <coughs> Um, there are controls that turn on and off different wind chests. Those are the stop tabs, which I showed you in the earlier video. Um, there are also couplers, which couple different pitches of the wind chests together to uh, form different sounds. Um, each wind chest will hold a rank of pipes. A uh, rank of pipes is just a set, like um, an eight-foot flute. There may be 61 pipes in the rank, which means they all sound the same, they're all the same design, they're just different pitches that are played by the different keys on the manuals of the console. Now the tremolo is also connected to the wind chest. There are several different styles of tremolo, some of them are electric and some of them are uh, pneumatic, they actually function on the, the wind of the organ from the blower. Uh, both of the tremolos that I have are basically they function by the pressure from the blower and basically what they do is they just rapidly change the pressure in the wind chest by a very small amount which makes the pipes have a tremolo effect on them <clears throat> the wind chests obviously feed air to the pipes which because they're setting directly on top of the wind chest and then the pipes give you sound out so now let's look at how the different parts of this work. Well these are a couple of the uh, bellows or uh, wind regulators. Uh, this one on the top is a smaller one. Um, I believe that came from the Buell organ. Um, basically it's basically upside down. This part would be facing the floor mounted on a, a wooden frame and uh, this part moves and there's leather in here to seal it and basically what this does is you have either springs or a weight setting on the, the top of this or a combination of both and the wind goes into the chamber and probably through this wooden box the wind goes in this is probably the output uh, I'm not I don't remember exactly but the wind goes into this and expands this out and the springs and the weights try to keep this down <clears throat> and depending on how what it's set for there's usually a stopper so that this can only expand out so far and then it closes off the input air so then this would fluctuate right there and hold the pressure the same as the air is used up by the organ and this this closes back down it'll open up the port and blow more air into it so that's how it regulates this is also a regulator this is actually quite large it's about three foot by three and a half foot this is also from the Buell, and this is the top where the weights would be. Um, there are also springs on this one. And the same thing, the leather seal is in here, and this part is charged. And there's a valve on the bottom so that as this expands out with pressure, it closes off the air coming in and maintains the set pressure, which is set by how much spring tension and weight is on here. So that's how that works. This is a basic diagram of one of the regulators that I have. Um, this is the wooden box. This is a leather lined um, paddle type deal. Uh, actually, I believe the there are pieces of masonite in here. And the leather seals it and makes a hinge. And this top is wood. There's basically big heavy springs like washing machine springs or, or larger. They're actually quite heavy duty springs. that keep this down on this box here. 
There are also weights on here, which are how you adjust the wind pressure by how much weight or how little weight is added to the top of this regulator. Now, connected to the top is a long rod that goes down to a wooden stopper type deal. And there's a hole in this bottom board that this stopper can close. Now the blower blows air into this cavity and up through this hole and into this box here. Now the pressure from the blower will work against the springs and the weights and push this top plate up. When there's no pipes being played, this will go all the way up to its extreme, which is regulated by where the stopper is mounted on this threaded rod. So when this goes all the way up, the stopper will close off the air from the blower, and that's how it regulates the amount of pressure. So if, there, if no more pressure can get in, that's as much pressure as you can have. So obviously this port and there's ports around in this box that go off to the different wind chests. As the pipes play and the pressure drops, this is going to fluctuate up and down ever so slightly, sometimes more, depending on uh, the size of the pipes that are being played, which allows less or more air in through this port and maintains a fairly constant pressure of around five inches of water column. So that's how the regulator works. 